Hello everybody and welcome to a video about Dwarf Fortress. In this video we're going to be covering making a pit and filling it with water and putting a well on top of it. This has several different uses. One of the most important ones, however, is wells are very useful for cleaning wounds after fights. Very important as part of your hospital, but that's for a later time. For this video, we're simply going to be covering filling a well with buckets. So, the best way to build a hole, which is what we need before we can fill it with water, is a ramp. And we need a ramp going down. This is called a channel. If you want, I have a video about channeling and digging holes and ramps, if you want to watch that as well. But for now, we're going to just simply channel down a hole. This is going to cut out this block beneath it and give us this tiny little hole in the ground. So, once the dwarves have dug the hole, we'll continue the video. Shortly after, a dwarf runs over and digs us our little hole. Now, we're going to fill this with water. We could make it bigger, we could make it fancier, but for this video, we're just going to use the one tile. Now, the best way to go about filling a hole with liquid very quickly is using buckets. So, if you don't have buckets, you can construct buckets at a, at a carpenter's workshop right here. Currently, we are constructing barrels, but we have a bunch in surplus, so buckets won't be an issue. Now we need to tell our dwarves to fill this hole with water. So what we're going to do is we're going to select zones. Now we are going to make a zone called a pit and pond zone. Now there is a wrinkle with the mechanics of the pit and pond zones. Only one dwarf can fill a pit and pond at a time per zone. So we're going to make four. We're going to make one right here. Now this tiny little zone, once we click accept, is going to give us three options here. We have designate this zone at as the top of a pit, citizens will not fill the pit uh, below with water in case you want to throw something into the pit, or designate this as a pond, meaning they will grab buckets and fill it with liquids. We are going to select pond. Now we're going to back out of this menu and we are going to open up a second one and we are going to do this again, repeat four times. And now we have to wait for our dwarves to realize that there is a pond that needs to be filled and they're going to go grab buckets and begin filling. As you can see, this little child, Lemuel, has the fill pond job. Walk all the way down to the river on the outside and fill it up with water. Or in this case, looks like this little murky pool. Fill it up with water, run all the way back into the fort, and dump it into our well. And dump it into the now puddle. Which the dwarf jumped into and then ran out of. It's going to take a little bit to fill up, but dwarves are going to get the job done. We will return once the pond is full. The way I can tell how full it is, is up in the top of this screen, you see it says four of seven. This meaning it is four of seven full. So it's roughly just over half full. Now it says five of seven as it fills up. There is an option in the settings menu that's on by default that shows you uh, just by looking at it, someone just cleaned themselves, that shows you just by looking at it, the amount of water in there with a number. I find it ruins immersion, so I leave it off. But if you wish to turn that on, it is enabled by default. Now, if you go into the building screen, what we're going to do is we're going to construct our well. So in order to construct a well, we require a few things. You go to the building screen and you go to the machines and fluids section. This allows you to have a well. So we're going to construct a well. Now, if you'll keep in, you'll keep in mind that down here, we have our mechanics workshop where we've made a rock mechanism. We have our carpenter shop where we've made our buckets and we have our clothers shops where we have used cloth to make cloth ropes, which can also be replaced with metal chains. These are all materials that you are going to need in order to build your well. So now that it's pretty much full, what we're going to do is we're going to deactivate these fill sites. So I'm going to go back to the zone screen and we're going to open up this zone and we're going to suspend activities in this zone and it does not remove the zone. We're going to remove two of them and suspend two of them just for when we need to fill the well later. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to construct the well. So we're going to open up this hotkey, uh, this uh, building spot, the hotkey is B, and then we're going to click on machines and fluids, the hotkey is M, and then we are going to click on the well, the hotkey is capital L. We're going to select the well and place it right here. Now it's going to ask us to select what material we want to use, and this is going to, to give us a color. We're going to use the microcline for a, a nice blue, fits the well. We're going to use an alder bucket, and we're going to use our pigtail rope and one of our shale mechanisms. Now. Once again, if you do not have any of these materials, just make sure that you can go through and construct the individual ones needed. And then what will happen is the well will be constructed above the opening and then bucket will go down and into the hole and raise back up and out. Now, keep in mind, you can actually make wells rather deep. The buckets will lower as deep as they need to be. There's some fighting happening somewhere. Someone's fighting with a troglodyte. I'm sure they'll be fine. Not, not the troglodyte anyway. So we're now going to find the dwarf that is constructing our well. Seems to be this little dwarf named Foltag, who is running around kind of madly along our minecart rail to put all of the pieces together. And now the well is being constructed. And as you can see, we now have a working functional well. 
If this video was helpful and you would like to see more videos like it, there's more videos on this YouTube channel about Dwarf Fortress and you could reasonably watch in a lifetime. If you need more help with tutorials and whatnot, there's a big playlist of these. And if you would like to see me while I play video games live, you can find me at twitch.tv slash B-L-I-N-D-I-R-L, or the link is down in the description. That is twitch.tv slash blind IRL. And I can answer any questions that you might have. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.